a video has emerged where Tinubu was disgraced by hashtag NSAS protesters in Oshodi, Lagos. Only News Nigeria reports that the video, which was emerged on the micro blogging site Twitter on Monday, October 19, shows that shows the moment the national leader of the All Progressive Congress APC Nigeria's ruling party, Bola Tinubu, was disgraced by hashtag NSAS protesters in Oshodi area of Lagos. The video is coming at a time Nigerian youth are agitating for the end of police brutality and extrajudicial killings of Nigerians. The Nigerian youth have been on the street for more than two weeks now, protesting the brutalities, humiliation and extortion of Nigerians, especially the youth by SAS, a police unit under the Force Criminal Investigation and Intelligence Department headed by the Deputy Inspector General of Police, Anthony Ubizi. During the protest, the protesters demanded an end to the special anti-robbery squad, SARS, using a hashtag NSARS. The Inspector General of Police, IGP Mohamed Adamu, dissolved SARS on Sunday, October 11, 2020, following a widespread protest from Nigerians worldwide. But despite this, the protesters have refused to leave the streets. However, hashtag NSARS protesters protesting in Oshodi area of Lagos on Monday, October 19th, were heard chanting Tinubu Ole in Yoruba, which translates to Tinubu Thief, a situation which can best be described as an embarrassment to Tinubu, a two time former governor of Lagos State, Nigeria's commercial city. Okay, so guys, as we can see from the video, they were shouting Tinubu Ole, this and this and this and this and that. And again, oh, it's just very, very unfortunate for Tinubu. You can imagine everybody is dragging Tinubu. Some are saying, oh, Tinubu is the be one behind it. And meanwhile, the people in the state are, are saying, oh, Tinubu, you are, the you, are, you, are the, you are part of the problems we are facing in this country. So, where is going to, where is the man going, to, where is he going to go? Now, even from his own party, they are accusing him. Left, right, and center. They are accusing him. So, where does he go from here? Everybody is accusing the man. Some people say, oh, that serves him right. You know that recently, Mieti Allah has come out to say, yes, he's the one behind this because he's the one that is the biggest financier of this uh, hashtag and protest. Hashtag, hashtag and such protest. And also, they said he wants to destabilize the administration of uh, President Muhammadu Buhari because from all indication, he has seen and know that uh, he's not going to be given APC ticket. So, because of that, it's going to cause a problem for Buhari. We are just like, what is happening? Where did they get that from? Uh, maybe that is what they are going to be selling and telling Buhari. Of course, you know that uh, even in their first tenor, he had already sidelined. President Muhammadu Buhari sidelined uh, Tinubu and people were really laughing at him, mocking him. All of a sudden, during the election time, when the 2019 election was coming up again, they deceived him. They deceived him. He went back again. As soon as they get uh, uh, Buhari came in again for the second time, Eru Fai started his own wahala, saying that uh, this and this and that. Teaching them how to end the end the Godfatherism in Lagos, and I'm surprised that people could not even quote a a Rufai during a do policies when this man, what is this man's name, Desmond Elliot was uh, attacking a governor Baseki that uh, he should she stop talking about uh, ending the Godfatherism. But that being said, so now. Kasala has busted now. Kasala don't bust now. They are saying Tinubu is the one behind this. Some people are saying, oh, Tinubu, you are the problem. Some people say, oh, Tinubu, you are this, you are that. Everybody just dragging him. So he's not standing alone. I'm expecting his uh, spokesperson, Raman Tunde, to come and tell us again. You know, it was one uh, university professor from University of Ibadan that first accused him of uh, being behind this uh, old hashtag, um, old, uh, hashtag answers. But they've come out to debunk that. So now that Emiati Allah has said the same thing, so uh, let's hear what, the, what they are going to say. So everybody is dragging Tinumbu left, right, and center. And some people say, oh, that serves him right. He went to form alliance with them, uh, thinking that uh, they are going to favor him. Now they are beginning to tell him that uh, he has no place uh, in Aso Villa come 2023. Well, he should be called a thief because he deserves it. He's the main person who brought this walking dead to us, hmm. say where well, this is is, is uh, well deserved. It is not it's not their fault. They are enjoying freedom of speech, which Tinumbu fought for. Okay, this is the evidence that 
This rascality called answers is purely PDP enterprises. Okay, continue. And I think uh, uh, you should go and ask a uh, BAC Allah, you know, and ask them what they are talking about this whole thing. And I'm sure Tinubu is the one behind uh, this, uh, uh, this, uh, uh, whatever in Anambra State. The man, this uh, SAS man that has been doing all manner of things in Anambra State. I know it is uh, the, as, uh, the PDP. You know, when these people have failed, in, in all ramification from all indications they are fit then they want to transfer it to tinubu <laughs> you guys have been they want to transfer it to pdp yes they've been enjoying tinubu all this while so why coming out now to say otherwise people from his own party now are still accusing him and you are saying that it is pdp so let them begin to fight themselves let them begin to fight themselves if this is going to take their disunity to cause unity and progress and development to Nigeria, so be it, so be it, so be it, because from all indications, you would have seen that it's like these politicians they have sworn that uh, Nigeria will continue to be the way it is, so that they themselves will continue to manipulate the people. I don't just understand why people do not have conscience, they want to be in power. I didn't mean they even have what it takes to be in power to bring dividends of democracy to the people, it would have been a better thing, but they are just like you know. Eat alone, eat alone. But during election time, they will be promising you heaven and earth. At the end of the day, all oh, now wash, all oh, now scam. Well, let them continue with those things. If they try to intimidate the people so that they will end this uh, whole thing, the same people will come out and be complaining. They will come out and, and, and be complaining. Give them one week, they will start to complain. The problems are there. For the past five years, this man has not been able to do anything. Or the Sokaba who are working with him, they've not been able to solve all of these problems. And yet they are saying, oh, give them time. Give them time. So they have the time now. What have they done to this uh, S-men? What have they done to them? The same thing. If people come out to, to come out now, begin to speak now, they begin to tell you another thing. And that being said, do you know that the hashtag insecurity is ravaging the whole north now? So it is still the same Tinubu that is behind it. Well, and those people too, they are miscreants because those ones will be keeping quiet now. Now that they are coming out to speak their voice to say, we are not even talking about a hashtag answers. We are talking about an insecurity. They will still come and say, it is PDP. It is PDP. It is PDP. It's unfortunate that uh, the kind of people we are, we are living with in this country, they are very, very funny. Very, very funny people. It's unfortunate. So guys, uh, let us hear your opinion. Leave your comments below respectfully in the comment section. Thank you.